Well, Wally here with you again, and today it is more about chainsaws. Stay tuned. So the guys at Rototech decided that they liked my, sorry, Norden Arb, the guys at Norden Arb Supplies decided that they liked my last video so much that they they asked me to review something else for them. Uh, so they sent me some bar oil for free, yay, free stuff, and they sent me this. It's only one litre, but it was free and what can you say about that now it tells me that it is medium viscosity with anti-fling properties and it's designed to lubricate and protect chainsaw chains and guide bars on pump fed chainsaws yes that is all fair and you know that's that's good stuff that's all important but 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 bar oil is bar oil as far as i'm concerned i don't really use enough of it i don't use it What do you think, girls? What he's after? So I, d I don't use. No, that's that's not. The, how would I say this? Right, I would go through a fair bit of bar oil. Like a one liter can of bar oil is not definitely not big enough for me. I wouldn't lead at least five liters. Okay, so th the important thing to me about getting bar oil is that it's cheap. You know, so I've I have run this. I've run the saw with, with the oil in it and I, what would be, I can see no difference between it and any of the, any of the other bar oil that I've used. Uh, bar maybe a Maxol, let me see the, the other one I have here that I don't really like, I find it a little bit thick, this stuff here. This stuff, I actually find it a little bit thick. Uh, but it, it says that it does all the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, so, you know, you, you, put it, you put it in your chainsaw, it lubricates the bar and the chain, okay? I, and it, it did that, which is perfect, that's what you want. The main thing is, is that one liter of this, one liter, costs two ninety nine, two ninety nine, right? Okay, so five liters of it is nine fifty. Nine pound fifty pence. That's all. Right? One liter of Husqvarna oil or any other oil that I could come across doing uh, a quick search on eBay was at least six eighty five, the cheapest for one liter, okay? And it doubled from there. You know, it got really expensive from there. So you know, let's let's look at the pros and cons. Pros, it's cheap. Pros, it works. Pros, I can't tell the difference between this and any other oil that I've used in my chainsaw. Now, if I was to run it in a top handle saw, there might be a difference, but then I don't use one very often. You know, my friend uses one when we're doing trees and stuff, but let's put it like this. From now on, I'm gonna be buying this. That's it, and that is Woolly's amazing chainsaw hack number number two. And again, it's it's road attack stuff. You know, chainsaw consumables are expensive. Chains are expensive. Uh, bars are expensive. Chickens are having a bit of a freak out over there. You know, chains are expensive, bars are expensive, so why why not buy the cheap stuff? For example, Oregon Speed Cut Bar and Oregon Speed Cut Chain. Not very good. Not what I would call good. If Rodatech could get it sorted so that they could make parts for the Husqvarna 435, I would be over the moon because when I've gone to, to look for them, I just can't find them. So, in conclusion, guys, this is coming on a five minute video. I wanted it to be short. Short, 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 short. This stuff, buy it. Go on to Norden Arb Supplies website, buy this stuff. 
you know, for somebody like me, who I actually do quite a lot of sawing, I would saw maybe five days a week, you know, you know, and that's some of those days will be full non-stop days of sawing. So, uh, you know, this stuff works fine. No issues with it whatsoever. So uh, it is a uh, thumbs up from Molly. Stay frosty, guys.